Right, good morning guys. Welcome to 2024, the start of the vlogs, start of the year. I am back at my desk. It is January 3rd, a lot of day that we are coming back to work. Granted, I am a little bit late, which goes completely against one of my, one of my many goals I've set for the year already. However, I will get better. This morning I was just really in the mood to like put on a, a good face of makeup and get myself ready and like film my first outfit of the whole year. And so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. The office is almost, almost complete. It's looking so good in here. Ooh, coffees. Like I said, we had a slight hiccup in that the flooring, I didn't buy quite enough flooring for in here. We have this really lovely um, LVT. It's so nice. It's from a place called Eaton Square Flooring. And this is called the Chugach in the color Mistral. So it's like a really light wood, very oaky. I wanted it to match with the desk, sort of. So this is, yeah, I went for this and it's it's great. It kind of like all clips into place. You don't have to glue it down. So the guys who did it were thrilled to bits. But annoyingly, we just don't have about eight pieces. We need about eight pieces to finish the room. So that was my slight oversight. So sadly, the room isn't quite finished, but we're almost there. Like I've got my cornice up, my beautiful RH light cornice. It just needs a full paint in here and then the radiator going on and then we will have a fully working office. But still, it's still great and it's amazing to be sat here because it's practically done. So I'm starting off the year productively. <laughs> little Belvita crackers just in case I get hungry and I have my 2024 diary from the productivity method by Grace Beverly if you know Grace she's such a boss she's a real inspiration to me she's also someone I know fairly well and I think she's just the loveliest girl and she's just yeah she's super inspiring when it comes to business I bought her book and I also bought another two for my other two uh, another two girls in the team we all have one of these little diaries and I went for this lovely beige one to match the desk we're working into this today writing down my goals and all of that because I've already done that on the blog so if you um haven't seen I put up a little story yesterday in the throw, I've done a blog post on goal setting, vision boards, and manifesting tips. And I've gone into like how I'm creating my goals and writing down my goals for the year. It's done me good. So during the rest of this vlog, I'll be going through, obviously on the blog, I've put down a few things, but obviously I've kept a lot back, which I'll share with you guys because the vlog's different to the blog. <laughs> so I'll be sharing a lot more of what my goals are this year, what my goals are in five years. I have a five year goal plan. Things like wishes that I want to manifest. Those are more of my manifestations. I think my goals this year aren't so manifesty. They're a little bit more attainable, I think. They're just things that I want to do. Obviously I'm gonna put some manifesting into them, but yeah, there are, th there are other things that I want to manifest that aren't necessarily career goals. They're a little bit more consumerist, <laughs> materialism driven, but we'll see. And yeah, things to do with habits, trips coming up and who I want to be in 2024. So we'll go through that in a little bit. But for now, I need to crack on and say hello to my team because Bryony has already been like, good morning. And it's, I'm not even at my desk fully. So catch up in a bit. Today, first day back, obviously, is appraisals day. I'm doing appraisals with my whole team. Is that a cookie monster? Come on then. One second, and I just need to do this. It's unlinked. Tell you what, I have your own bed for you right here. Okay, come to mama first, and then I've got you a bed, literally here, boy. Right, here we go. Yes, I'm doing appraisals with my whole team. So one by one, I'm having just like Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting. So it's gonna be like a long one today of just of just that. Like I said, I've just filmed this outfit. So Butch is already editing that. He's got his appraisal later. Yeah, it's just a full day of chatting with my team for me, which is great. And then at three o'clock, we're having a full team meeting to chat about the time ahead, the year ahead and what we're looking forward to. And so we'll go through like what we did last year that we like, things to not do this year, things to do this year, uh, maybe brands that I want to work with this year, um, 
brands that I don't want to work with this year. I think you should find some better light to do these Zoom calls in. Just done my first one, brilliant, went swimmingly. I'm just going to set up for the next one. I just have to kind of like set up my lights and things because it wasn't flattering in any way, shape or form and it was annoying me a tad. So, gosh, I look super shiny in this light. Maybe I don't need quite so much. <laughs> okay, right, so for my next meeting, I'm just gonna make some notes. First and foremost, got my lipstick. Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple of notes first and foremost before the start of the meeting. Might just make some post-its actually, and then get cracking with my second appraisal of the day. I have four today. <laughs> In fact, I did one yesterday and I've got four today. So I'm gonna write my thoughts. It's 10 past five. I am up to my final meeting of the day. I don't think I've ever talked this much in one day, actually. So I've done my appraisals with everyone. Then we've just done a group meeting to talk through strategy, brands, literally everything. And now, finally, I'm onto my final appraisal. Sorry, I'm literally just like grabbing a snack. I'm having these chocolate gingers <laughs> randomly. I'm so excited about dinner though. Whew, I can't wait to have some food. Okay, <clears throat> invite sent. A little bit more lipstick. Thank God for the Zoom touch up feature. That is great. God, it's really, really dark in here. Hmm. Don't know how this light's still working. It's got one hell of a battery pack in it. Right, I'm just waiting. Rebecca joining my meeting. Forget what I just said about the light. Literally this Oh, she's making a coffee. She's making a coffee. Yay! Two bites away from finishing my coffee cake. Coffee cake? What's coffee cake? What's that? You would love it. What is it? It's super, super, super fluffy cake with cream cheese and cherry in it. Oh no. That it's sounds so delightful. It's like ridiculous. It's so good. Is it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you having coffee oh, and cake it. time? <laughs> 11, 11, 11s is. Yes. Love that. Yeah, 11s is. Should always be coffee and cake time, babe. <laughs> oh, love that for you. Finally, got my hands on this little jumper. My best mate, Steph, influenced me. She bought it a while back. And I've been waiting for it to come back in my size. And it came back. And now it is mine. So love that. And I was going to get rid of this. I've done, by the way guys, I've done a massive clear out, by the way. Gosh. Oh my goodness me. Um, I've done a massive clear out over the holidays. I didn't film it because I just wanted to get going and it was good because I did just get so much done very fast. And I was going to get rid of that. And then I've, I've resorted. it. Okay, that's better. That makes me feel a lot better now. I've also been going around the house collecting bits from every room to bring upstairs. Morning. Hi guys, jumping in here. I'm literally just editing this part of the vlog right now. It's getting quite late. Anyway, I just wanted to mention, I'm literally watching this footage. Like why are my front two bottom teeth like red? So before I film this footage, I ate a handful of goji berries. And I think I've obviously got one on my tooth and it stained my teeth. So for this part of the vlog, my teeth are like red. So I just wanted to point it out. I'm just as confused as you will be. Anyway. Back to the footage. Oh my god, I can't wait. Today I'm going getting my hair done. Flipping finally. Not only is the colour just really dull now, it's really dull. I also have crazy roots. Look how fast it's growing. When people say, really do those vitamins work in the shampoos and all the things that you tell us? Yes. Oh, that doesn't work though. Never mind, I'll live without. That is some serious growth. My like hair growth. Yeah, the vitamins do work. I did a video on how I feel I've, I've grown my hair in the past few years and I talked about this Red Ken shampoo and conditioner, Dyson products and these vitamins that I've been using for years, years and years. I just want to say, I wasn't paid to talk about the vitamins. I was paid to talk about Red Ken, but I genuinely use Red Ken. I use either Red Ken or I use Larry King because some smart person was like, thought you only liked Larry King. It's like, mm, I don't think anyone just likes one brand. Let's be honest about it. So I use Larry King and I use Red Ken. So that was actually an ad for Red Ken about how I've grown my hair because it's completely the truth. So it was like the most fantastic video to do 
because it's literally me giving my absolute tips, which is Red Care Dyson or these vitamins. And then people are like, yeah, but do the vitamins actually work? It's like, well, I wouldn't have included them in this video because I wasn't paid to. And why would I talk about some random ass vitamins that don't work if I don't believe they work? You know what I mean? I wasn't being paid to talk about the vitamins. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna put in a random vitamin brand for just the hell of it. So those are the vitamins. I mean, I've just taken them now. I use them daily, daily. And yes, yeah, so someone else was like, these are just full of glucose. Yeah, they are, because they're sugary gummies. Yummy. I've, I've got an issue with taking tablets. I know a lot of people do. I have an issue with it, and so I have to take gummies. It's very annoying, very, very annoying, actually. It was very annoying as a young person. And also someone who has to take the pill. I had to learn how to take the pill. The vitamins work. Anyway, I digress. The point is I'm getting my hair done today, so I'm so excited. Gosh, this year, I'm so excited about this year. I've got good, such, such good feelings about it. I feel like there's gonna be some amazing things to come this year. I've just got a lot on my vision board and a lot on my goals board and I've written a blog post on it. New Year's Day, New Year's Day, I was hungover. I just got back from Susie's. We spent New Year's Eve at Susie's place with a couple of her friends and family I had a really great party so the next day i was just exhausted but i was like you know what i really want to write down my goals all about how i'm setting my goals this year and how i'm manifesting and i've done my vision board and all of this in that blog post i'll leave it linked down below if you want to go and have a look and it lays out my different headings that i've got there's eight headings i have for my goals this year because everyone was, has been doing ins and outs i don't know if you've seen that people saying what's in this year what's out this year that wasn't quite thorough enough for me. I like to think about things on like an emotional basis, career, life, wellness. I, it needs breaking up a bit for me in my head. And so I've got a note that literally says my 2024 and it starts off with my first vision board. I have about five vision boards. They're all very similar, but, and what I do is I have them on rotation as my background on my phone. I don't know if you know you can do that. You can set your background to change every hour. You can set as many pictures as you like. So. You could set 10 pictures of your dog as your screensaver, or 12, and it would change every hour. And then below that, I have it all on a tick list, so they're all little tickable things. Obviously, I don't really want to show you because it's super personal, but I will go through a few of the goals whilst I sit here and chat. One thing that does help when it comes to like manifesting and goals that you're aiming towards, having a figure, okay, an actual number or figure involved, Rather than just saying like, I'd like to grow my channels or I'd like to grow my business. Sometimes it's good to add like a monetary value or a numeric value to it because it becomes a little more of a target. Obviously on my list this year, I am so close to a million followers on both. On YouTube especially, I'm on 924,000 followers now, which is insane. I'm on like 700 and something on TikTok. I'm going to push myself this year. I mean, I'm always pushing myself, but I'm manifesting that this year that I'd love to hit a million subscribers on both because that would just be really amazing to get to that point finally because it took me like a good nine, nine or so years to hit a million on Instagram. So we got there in the end. We slogged it, but we got there in the end. And I'd love to get there on YouTube and on TikTok. Finding a real balance between work and fun. Like this year, I've very much worked on that. Found, oh, this is the Merit Bronzer and Sam. I very much managed to find a bit more balance in life, which has been really, really great. Like I moved the videos from Sundays to Tuesdays so that I didn't have to work Sundays anymore, getting the vlogs ready. That was actually great. Um, I really do miss being able to upload on a Sunday. It's like my favorite days to watch vlogs, but for my um, team and for me, it just wasn't good anymore. So we stopped that so I could have Sundays off. Um, which was really great for me and Alex to be able to do stuff with friends and family a lot more on the weekends. Obviously having the, the new Manchester flat has massively helped, you know, if we ever need to go back. We don't go back often, it's like once a month, but it still helps us to have a little bit of a break up in the, in the weeks. But yeah, we've filled those days seeing friends a lot more, so we've had a much more of a sociable balance this year, which has been really, really great. And also, like, we did the honeymoon last year which was all about having a proper holiday and properly switching off for once. It did us the world of good and I loved every minute of it. Oh, learn reformers Pilates to much more of like a professional level. Like I'd love to do two, two days a week with this wonderful 
trainer Georgie that I met recently who's one of the most wonderful humans I might have ever met. I'm hoping that she can fit me into her very busy schedule when it comes to training people which would just be absolutely amazing but I would love for her to be able to teach me to the point where on the days that she doesn't train me I feel like I can get on the reformer and do a full routine just off the top of my head like that would be really really awesome but I'm also going to follow loads of TikTok people who do Pilates workouts on the app and yeah just get a lot more knowledgeable in it like I love reforms I'm so excited we've just switched up the gym and made room for this Pilates bed because obviously they're massive so we've just made room and it's coming tomorrow yeah so that's one of my key goals this year then I've got obviously written down a couple of career things like grow relationships with particular brands that I love I've got a little list of brands here that I really want to build a stronger relationship with this year and also connect with two brands I haven't yet who I love that's very much on my my career goals list connect with a couple more brands then I've got a section about wishes this is much more materialistic based these are like wishes of things that I'd love to own or to buy not everyone would want this in their goals list as an influencer who does luxury fashion and has a passion for collecting particular things that's just something I'm passionate about there are a few things written down that I'd really really like and like I said the other week we went into Selfridges and I put down a an Hermes wish because I would love another Birkin in Burgundy that's um Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude by the way I'd love one in burgundy or in tan just because then I feel like I would have completed my colours I'd have black, blue, tan or burgundy and then I've got my yellow and then I'd be happy because I know last year I said I'm not too concerned about Hermes as a brand and I'm like it's a lovely brand I'm not obsessed with it but I would love to just own that one or the bag so that's like that's like on my wishes list I'm going to put down some powder bronzer just to try and set a little bit of this um, Armani 8 I've also recently added a Cartier watch to my wishes list again I love collecting watches I'm a big watches fan I know some people aren't that bothered about watches but I'd love one of the yellow gold Cartier watches I'm putting it out into the atmosphere right now it'll be something that if maybe I hit targets this year that I might treat myself to at the end of the year so I guess the manifestation is do super well this year and then treat yourself to a dream watch I guess I guess that would be that would be the wish wouldn't it then I've got key goals within five years because I, I know it's quite overwhelming thinking like, oh God, what do I want to do in five years? But actually, I think sometimes it's easier to think of five years than it is in one year because you can almost think, well, I've got five years to do it, therefore it's a bit more achievable. So for, some, for a lot of you, that could be getting married, it could be buying a house, it could be having a baby, it could be having a second baby, it could be starting a business, buying a second home, buying a first car, it, you know, that kind of thing. Where you need, obviously, more time to save, more time to think about it, more time to actually execute the plan. So uh, yeah, I've got a lovely list of five things I'd love to, love to do. Uh, one of those being, hopefully, launch a brand at some point. That would be a dream of mine. Buy another property. I mean, I'd love a property in Cornwall. I'd love a holiday home in Cornwall that we let out and do like Airbnb. That, that's one of my dreams uh, for the future. Then I have a list of things, things I need to do. And that, for me, isn't a habit changer and it's not a goal. It's just things I need to do, such as organise the house fully. I want to, this year, I want to get every single room fully furnished and fully finished. For, so, for example, there's like one of my guest rooms. I've been needing to buy a mirror for that room for the past year and I haven't done it. And so I kind of want to go around each room and be like, right, that needs a mirror. That needs a piece of artwork. That needs a chair. And then, you know what I mean? Have every room complete like that's a thing to do it's not a goal it's just it's not like a goal for me in life to get each room done it's more like I just need to get that done so that's the thing to do sort out my gut and general health I think a lot of us think about this a lot I just want to get my body on track why does this always look so ridiculous downsize more I want, I'm going to stop buying as many products and I know I feel like I say this a lot and it's very hard in this job to do that because obviously it's all about buying the latest things to show you so it makes it difficult. I'm at this kind of place between being a normal person who buys the average amount of clothes and also an influencer um, who needs to buy more clothes to stay relevant and show more items. People do also like to see new ones so you know it's a bit of a catch-22 situation so but I do want to buy a lot less outside of the jobs that I do. So obviously if I'm working with a brand and they're sending me a couple of clothes to show you or anything like that, 
then great. But I don't want to buy as much personally outside of that if I don't need to. Find a therapist, that's up there on my list this year to find a good therapist who's a bit of like a life coach, meets a cognitive therapist probably. That's on my list and probably should be on the list for most of us. Then, habits. Habits that I want to learn and to keep. So these are habits I've already learned that I want to keep hold of or habits that I haven't yet got that I'd like. Uh, one of which is texting back my friends immediately <laughs> because I'm just one of those people who, after being on WhatsApp all day texting the team, I don't then want to be texting my friends about a date that they want me to tell them if I'm free on in a couple of months. I know that's awful. I'm just mentally drained from that day of making a million decisions and I don't want to make one more decision that night. It's just like, it's just decision fatigue. And luckily all my friends are awesome and they get that and they don't mind waiting a little bit for me to text back, but at the same time I just think it's quite rude and it's not something I want to really do anymore. So that's one thing. Find enjoyment and relaxation in cooking, again. Uh, nourish my body properly, treat my body properly, like give it actual good fuel and not just things that I'm like craving because I'm a real foodie that just craves a lot of food and it's not necessarily good for my gut or my body so I need to need to work that out. Blocking and removing negativity from my life. I mean that also goes for things like on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be honest I'm very quick to block people because I'm like you know what if you are the kind of person who's happy to spread hate and say and say shit to someone online that you don't know then you're not going to be someone i would ever want to hang out with and therefore i don't really care if you see my channel or not so without giving anything a second thought anymore i don't even think about their comment anymore i just go block bye she blocked me that is it for me and so i don't have to think about their shit that's why i block people and you know that's just my right to do that it's my channel i saw a girl the other day on tiktok being like I'm not paying for a phone to sit on it and get hate <laughs> and I loved that I was like you know you're so right like I'm not allowing a hateful person to seep into my day-to-day -day life in my home on my phone that I pay for or pay a lot of money for and in my recreational time that I work hard to get I'm not then allowing a random person who's having a bad day to come along and upset my day so straight away, the one thing I can do to control it is just immediately block. So that's what I do. Anyone who I feel is overly critical, like I'm happy to have criticism if someone is like telling me in a nice way. There's a way to give people criticism, let's be honest. Um, there is, I'm not gonna have anyone tell me otherwise. You can be a nice person, give someone criticism. Um, and I'm so happy to take that, but I'm not having just pure hatred and like, oh, you look awful or, I mean, I mean, ugh, whatever, just what I can't even be bothered thinking about a hateful comment. But if, it, if I deem it hateful enough that I know that that person is likely a very nasty person to be able to say that to someone they don't know, then I just block them. And that's just one of my things that I like to do. And that's my, that's my prerogative, that's up to me. Be ready earlier. You guys know I'm always up to the wire on timings, which is a, a really bad trait of mine. I put things off until the very last minute to get ready, which is just ridiculous and it annoys me. It really annoys Alex, so that's something I'm absolutely going to work on. And then habits to dismiss and lose, scrolling longer than 10 minutes. It's going to be a tough one because we're all addicted to our phones, but I'm sick of being addicted to my phone. And I find myself increasingly more and more and more bored of my phone, which is probably a good thing. Like in the morning when I'm having my coffee, I'm a bit like, what else can I do whilst I'm in bed having my coffee? Because that's something I love doing is being in bed when having my coffee. And I don't want to take away good, like, happy moments that I enjoy. But equally, I don't care to be on my phone. I don't care to be scrolling right then. I'm not looking for inspiration. 7.30am in the morning. I'm looking to almost pass time while I have my coffee. And I don't want to do that anymore. I'm excited for, like, the earlier morning, lighter mornings to come back. And to, for the garden to start being lovely again. Because I miss walking outside with my coffee in the morning and going looking at the roses and the plants. Like, I really miss that. Valentino um, mascara, by the way. And then things like putting off workouts until the last moment. I work out usually at 9 p.m. every night. I don't have to work out at 9 p.m. I could probably work out at seven, but after I've finished dinner at half six, I'm like, oh, let me go sit on my phone and let my dinner go down. 
I put it off and then I put it off and put it off and I'm sat on my phone for two hours and I'm like, all right, it's nine o'clock, I'll do it now. And I'd love to just be like, you know what, let's do it earlier. And then I can have a bath before bed and I can chill before bed. So that's what on my list. Buying items similar to things I already own. That's something I hate that I do. Constantly just buying more things. And I already own something that looks almost identical to it. Like I don't want to do that anymore. Again, I wouldn't always put on so much concealer, but sat in the chair at the hairdressers, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, complaining about things I know I can change. Complaining about my sore legs. And I know how to fix it. I just really, really enjoy bread and sugar. And alcohol. I also have a section about trips to look forward to. I think it's good to like look forward to the future and have things on the agenda to start planning in. So things like Susie's hen party, Susie's wedding, obviously I need to book my hotel, my flights, all that kind of thing. I've got a lot of things actually, I'm not on the list for that. Last one is who do I want to be in 2024? This could literally be, I don't want to change a thing. I love the person I am, I'm happy the way I am and that's great. But for me, I personally like to kind of shift things around a bit. It keeps me feeling more refreshed every year if I just change up things a little bit. So for today, for example, I'm gonna go a bit darker with my hair. Um, so that's one thing, I wanna be a bit, a bit darker a bit more of a richer tone this year, so that's on my list of who I want to be. I want to feel fit and healthy, obviously that's on there. And then I've also written things to do with like what my style is going to be this year. So what kind of styling that I love. As you know, I love a good suit. That is in there still, like gorgeous suiting, oversized shirts, oversized displays. I mean, it's kind of similar to what I've been last few years, but I'm just writing it down just so I remember it. It's always good just to get it out of your head onto paper. So yeah, and then underneath that, I then have a number of other mood boards. So literally this whole thing has my mood boards, plus all of my points and that's done. Now I don't really, oh by the way, this is a new robe. Well, Alex bought me this for Christmas. It's a white company robe. I'll leave a link for it. It's amazing. It's like a thick quilted style duvet. It's not overly thick. Like I thought it would actually be a bit thicker, but I'm kind of glad it's not. I would be sweating because this is already hot. And I love, I love the color. I love this kind of gray Marliness. I love, I love the neckline on it and I could kind of like pop it up a bit more if I was cold. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. Do you know what? I feel like I, I, I say this all the time, so I'm sorry for everyone that knows, but you would not believe how many people ask me, who do I go to, which salon, who cuts it and what colours I get. And I feel like, I often feel like I'm a broken record telling you all, but actually I realise that so many people are on the internet that want the information. So yeah, Amy Fish at Larry King Salon. And the colours she uses are red can colours and I will be probably showing you that later. I'm doing a reel today though for Red Ken on it, so. Anyway, I better stop talking or else Alex is gonna kill me for how long it's gonna take him to edit this section. It's been 84 years. And so anyway, so that was my, those are my goals for 2024. Really excited about it. Obviously there's a lot on there that I can't tell you that are like things that I'm looking forward to. Obviously I have to keep secret, but let's just say I am hoping for this to be my year of you know getting things to happen that i've wanted for a very very long time starting the process and the footsteps towards the life that i'm hopefully envisaging for my future in my 40s 50s 60s yeah that's the idea right outfit oh it's so nice and tidy like i said i did an enormous clear out huge clear out i've cleared out about 100 pairs of shoes they're all going to be on vintage i have a vintage it's just itf wardrobe and i'm also on depop i'm also on um vestiaire for a few things so i've got a lot of pairs of shoes on there and i've got a lot of clothes going up including my gucci cardigan my little prada beige jacket is on there i know ages ago someone, someone I, often people ask me for these things and then i forget their names on instagram to go back and be like i'm selling that now so hopefully you're watching. I'm selling the Prada jacket. I'm selling the Gucci cardigan. Beige YSL belt and a pair of boots. I'm gonna go for an old print Aquasuras. And then I need some kind of brown bag. Kelly. Or a Louis Vuitton. Ooh, all my new little tots. That would be cute. I'll go for that. I'll go for little shilling tots. Not worn that out yet. And it's still technically winter, so right. I'm going to get ready now on TikTok because I do that. I want to try and do lots more outfits this year on TikTok, so that's what I'm going to do. Morning. Yeah, so I'm going to film this now for TikTok, guys. I'll see you in a sec when I'm ready. Right, this is the look of the day. I got on the animal print boots and the cream trousers. It's kind of I kind of like the proportion differences. I think it's kind of fun. And then the Todd's bag over top. I've changed the jacket, I, just to amp it up a tiny, tiny bit. 
I mean, it's ridiculous swapping one YSL blazer out for a YSL jacket. I realise it's ridiculous, but I um, think this works a little, little better. Okay, I'm happy with this now. And then my hair will be lovely and dark and it'll sit so nicely with all the colours, I think. So, right. God, let's go. Hi everyone. So yesterday at Lara King, I was recording my whole like hair, I would say it's a hair transformation. It's not really a hair transformation, but a hair refresh. Let me put you here. So I recorded the whole thing. And so I wasn't recording for the vlog. So I will include now the footage that I did get. <laughs> brown, very kind of like bronzy rich brown, and then through the front we added a little bit more blonde and then toned that to be like a sort of a blondy brownie tone. But then I also got rid of that entire gradient, I used to have a real gradient down the back where it went from like dark brown to blonde and instead now this is all dark so when I pull it all forward all the underneath and the back is dark brown. So if I did this I look completely brunette. I actually love it. Part of me just wants to go completely this colour next time because I really like it. It is nice though having this blonde around the front, it just sort of lightens it up a little bit. I'm so happy with it. We also took like five, six inches off just to like strengthen it up, health, make it a bit healthier again. It's still, I mean, it's still super long. It's, it feels really short now, weirdly. Yeah, it needed it. So Larry came in and cut it. So today has been a really, really exciting day. Today I finally took delivery of my new Reformer Pilates bed. Let me show you. The gym is now complete. This is the new Reformer's bed. I've put it here along this edge now. It was a perfect place for it. I've got lots of room to be able to swing my arms, swing my legs. It's also great because I've got a good view in the mirror so I can make sure that I've got the correct form, etc. I'm sorry, it's very, very blue in this room because of our neon light. Oh, I'm so, so thrilled to bits. Yeah, so as I was telling you about, um, I recently met a Reformers Pilates instructor called Georgie and she's just the most wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. Um, and she offered to come and help me set this up today. So she's helped set it up and she's also hopefully going to be my kind of private instructor as well, which is really, really exciting. Sorry, I had to turn off the neon because it's making everything really blue. Yeah, so we set it up here along this edge. It's such a gorgeous machine. I love the mix of the maple wood uh, with the silver and the black. It just works so well in this room. So now we have the reformer, we have the rack, we have the cables. We currently have skirting board here, but that's going soon. And then we have the Peloton. So yeah, I feel very, very lucky. This is a very, very cool gym. And I just can't wait to be like a reformer's girly and spend all of my nights stretching and turning up on this. Beautiful piece of equipment, I love it. So great here on this side. So not only do I have new hair and have a new reformers bench, um, I also have a really amazing package that arrived today, completely unexpected, and I'm guessing must have got held up in Italian post to UK. Max Mara sent me a Christmas gift. If you remember what they sent me last year, it's the same and I could not be happier to have a duplicated gift idea. This was insane last year. The biggest slab of Parmesan cheese with balsamic vinegar dressing. This is a an aged balsamic, it'll be like a thick syrupy. And this opens up to an enormous slab of Parmigiana. I'm salivating just thinking about it. So this literally arrived today <laughs> and I'm like, perfect timing because I've also ran out of all of my cheese sauce. Yeah, whilst I am on the New Year's health kick, I can still have my cheese. So thank you, Max Mara. Absolutely made my day. If my day already wasn't great enough, <laughs> this has been a really, really great start to the year so far. I just feel so good now. Brand new hair, new good vibes for the year. Yeah, it's been quite, it's been quite a day actually. But it's only half past four and I'm absolutely ravenous. 
Tonight we're going to have one of the Beyond Meat burgers with an egg on top, a little bit of cheese, and hopefully some just some veg on the side, something like that. And then I'm going to do a little reformers workout. I think it was a big goal of mine to buy a reformers bed to, and have it in the house. And I always thought I'd never be able to fit it in. I am um, thrilled to bits. So yeah. <laughs> to very much apart from a really lovely conversation with Suze for a good hour and a half about not another hen party but she also dressed me for the day. Suze wanted me to wear like white shirt, grey cashmere, cute blue jeans, just, just very kind of lazy Sunday vibes and I did have a cute pair of shoes on with this pair of YSLs but honestly the house is freezing so much so actually that in fact I'm going to put on heating because it's absolutely freezing in here tomorrow we have we have a company coming over to measure up this like i said they're called black steel doors i couldn't find anywhere else that would do the certain type of door that i wanted i want like a bifold door so i can push them all the way back so that in summer when it's really when it's really hot and obviously i want the air to move around i want to be able to walk to and from easily in the summer uh, i want to be able to push them back so they're completely out of the way but then for winter we can have them fully closing up that gap, keeping all the heat hopefully in here for once, which would be lovely. Oh darling, you're cold. Let me put a jumper on you. Let's go for this. Come on. Look at him. Yeah, hence, I mean, even the dog is cold. It's that cold in the house. I'm gonna put the heat on, warm us up a little bit. It usually comes on at three, but it's two o'clock and three. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna get a bifold door, but they also have bespoke types of hinges so that they all move separate to each other and can be pushed back, either the middle ones can push back or all four pieces can push back. Anyway, they've, they've come up with it, they've, it's a fully like bespoke service, I'm really excited about it. I just found them on Google from having a really good search and they've been amazing so far, like chatting with me, because obviously I've not known what I needed but knew the idea. And they're like, let's do this. So anyway, we're coming around tomorrow, measuring that up, so that's exciting. Let me get on with something whilst I'm chatting to you. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make me and Alex a kind of like a naan bread vibe. Some eggs, like two fried eggs, on this malted grain rye folded flatbread. I, I love the fact that it's got no sugar in it. What what an absolute rarity! So I'm gonna have these two eggs, maybe a little sprinkling of cheese. So let me get on with that. What's the chat with you? So yesterday I had the most fantastic day. I had my first private reformers class. I think I actually told you about this. I wanted to come on camera and tell you about it, but it was just unbelievable. I've been such a fan of reformers now for a couple of years, and yet I've never had a private session. So I've never done it like privately before. And it's almost like a completely different exercise when you do it privately, because there's so much more you can do that I've never done in a class. Like, because obviously when you're in a class, everyone's at different levels, but this was just so like refined and I 
told George exactly what I wanted from the exercise and what I want to see from it and how I want to look in the future and like the abs that I would like and all of that kind of thing and she's literally tailoring every single exercise so that I get the absolute most from it. I'm honestly over the moon, like almost like emotionally so, like I've had such a love-hate relationship with exercise and just not getting what I needed from the exercises I was doing for like going on 14 years now and I feel like this year I'm gonna crack it and I'm feeling really good about it. Mmm, you smell great. You smell really good. I'm really inspired right now for like really good food. I mean, that's just very much looking forward to being a lot more healthy this year. Not drinking quite so much alcohol, looking after our bodies better. A lot more veggies, a lot more fruit. And I love TikTok at the moment for food. The amount of food recipes that I save on TikTok, I save so much because I'm like, I'm gonna come back to that, I'm gonna make that. I've made so much off of TikTok that I've seen. There are some really fantastic nutritionists or chefs on there that make so many different types of food. And tonight I'm making a herb breadcrumb crusted salmon. It's kind of pan fried, I think. Or maybe, oh no, I think it might be oven cooked on a bed of chickpea, courgette, and peas, I think, with a feta yogurt bed dressing. Looked amazing. It's just really nice to mix up everything we're eating and not just eat the same things all the time. If you're a bit like how we used to be, constantly making the same like five meals all the time, you're super bored, have a look at TikTok for recipes or even just search for recipes. And then as soon as you start looking, the more it'll start coming up for you. Oh, I might have some avocado on this. Avocado on this little rice flat bread with two fried eggs in coconut oil with salt and pepper and all trimmings. Life beater? I was going to say, it looks like you're having breakfast with a convict. I know. <laughs> You've been filming a video though, haven't you? Yeah. How's it going? Good. I've just, just finished it. I, I shot it and then I didn't like it, so I reshot it. You're joking? Mm. Oh, babe. You're too much of a perfectionist, I think, for these kind of videos. No, I think this is better. I'd rather be affectionate, perfectionist at this type of stuff than the stuff that's really, really complicated and then I never put any content out because I'm never happy okay, with any yeah, of it. Fair Do you know what I mean? It's, okay. It's took me 45 minutes or whatever, but... To redo it? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, but you'll be proud of it and that's maybe. We'll see. I edited it, yeah. Mm. Hot sauce of the month. It's called Daddy's... Daddy mm. Cools Chili Sauce. This stuff, so good. Let's never usually it. go for stuff like this, but it is unreal. Oh, it's smoky. It's good, isn't it? Oh, wow. There's a mm. there's another one they do. It's an orange one anyway, but I feel like it's it's too much. It's got too much of a kick and not enough flavour. Mm. That's so flavourful. It's good, isn't it? And it's spicy though. It almost tastes a bit like caramel. Yeah, it is. And that's why I wouldn't normally go for it because I normally lean towards like Mexican kind of stuff. Yeah. But that's delicious. That is delicious. Is yeah. that the one that looks around? He found it, sent me it, and then. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this, and then I ended up having the whole bottle in a week. Susie's dressing today. Didn't say I'd come around. We were on FaceTime, afraid to chat about stuff, and I was like, I'm just going to get ready, and she was like, can I, can I choose your outfit? I was like, yeah, please. <laughs> you do it on the vlog. I've done it on TikTok. I filmed it for TikTok. So guys, I'm doing 366 days of outfits on TikTok, because it's a leap year, so it's 366 days. And I'm going to challenge myself to try and keep it up. It might be hard, and there might be one or two days that I miss, but for the most part, I'm feeling quite motivated about it right now. I need to come back to this video in this moment of like, I am motivated, it's challenging me to think about my outfits and what I haven't worn, and to not wear the same thing every day, and to actually like wear my actual clothes. But I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm gonna tell the guys how we're on a bit of a, a healthy food kick and we're really enjoying finding new recipes and like off TikTok and stuff like that. So I'm making this salmon dish later. I've lost so much weight this week already. Have you? Yeah. Have you? What from just eating really healthily? Eating healthily, working out. You've been, you've been working out, you've been eating really well. You've been eating big portions but really healthy stuff, haven't you? Mm. And um, yeah, not drinking, working out. It's just, yeah. First three days of no booze, no sugar, no bad food. I just have this like foggy head. Yeah. Really, really foggy head. Okay, that was delicious. We've literally seen it up and put it away. <laughs> I'm gonna make a ginger 
honey turmeric lemon tea and it sounds a lot more difficult than, <laughs> than it actually is and i'll show you why one lemon i actually bought the lemons without pips just to make things easy i'm just going to squeeze the whole thing whole half lemon into here i did this the other day with a full lemon like literally squeezed in a full full lemon and i'll be honest it was a bit much for me it was very very citrusy so i've moved down to a half a lemon <laughs> half a lemon and then i'm going to leave that in in the cup because that as well get more out of it and then this is the this is the key this is amazing dalesford ginger turmeric british honey so it's got ginger in here and it's got the turmeric and it's got the honey so it's british honey 98 percent with ginger and with turmeric tastes delicious gives you the exact flavour that you want like I'm a massive ginger fan um, I mean just look at it oh it's so good so just like a lovely little scoop like that and then as I'm putting my hot water into this cup I've got a hot, I've got a hot water tap just here I let the water run over the honey on the spoon just kind of melt it into the tea and that's it so you've got like super intense lemon and you've got this like absolutely unreal honey, like genuinely flipping delicious. But yes, yeah, so you've got honey, turmeric, and ginger, and lemon, and it's so, so good. Honestly, like this is just pure like magic. This is now by far my favorite honey, unreal. So I'll keep that up there now. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit and warm myself up with a nice hot tea. The door will open up to here oh great yeah that's perfect Fifty blue is it um Fireball? um no railings railings, railings. railings. i see oh, I, I painted it as well yeah i love I, railings I, 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 they're sticky blues in it so how does it open then so it'll open the third door will open and so so then they, they, they will open one and two one and two right okay so they will you can open one but you can also open two probably mm -hmm. you will open two at the time anyway Two. So this will open, so that will like open that. now. And then like that. And then like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, so they'll push the back wall. against each mm -hmm. other, so like 40. We've got few options of the glass as well. Okay. No. We've got clear, we've got fluted, we've got mirror from one side, you can see through from other side as well of okay. the glass. Normally people aim to get as much light, so it's most of the time it's a clear. I've got on this side two bars and three panes of glass. Yeah. And on this one, three bars and four panes of glass. I personally think four, that's what I have in my head. Because it yeah. feels very classic. Yeah. Four, four, four panes of glass. Four panes. What a lovely, lovely person. Wasn't he? He was really cool, yeah. Just the most positive, lovely man. He was called Mario, so he's come along from Black Steel Doors, like I said. I thought you guys might be interested if any of you also have this issue where you've got a big opening and you're like, what can we do with it because it's letting all of the cold air in like today it's freezing cold it's like one degrees or something in fact i think it was zero earlier and so all of our hot air from this radiator just goes wee, wee. and we're literally just throwing money down the drain and have a freezing cold kitchen like it's one of my my biggest regrets and i always say this is that i never put underfloor heating in this kitchen and it's the one thing i would do if we ever had to redo a kitchen again instead we've decided to put some doors in here like i said i guess that was a consultant from black steel doors to come around and measure everything up perfectly so we've done the measurements he asked us how many panes of glass we wanted so we could have had three panes in fact you can make it completely bespoke so actually we could have just had four glass doors and no panes we could have had two panes three panes four panes whatever We've gone for four, so for three bars worth, we're like one, two, three, four, four doors. The middle two can open, but then these two will like open out like this. But then equally, they'll then push back against these, and then they will also push it's back. It's like you show them where the exits on a plane are. This way, <laughs> and this way, and this way. So in summer, we'll be able to push these back, and then those will push back too, and they'll be flat against the sides. Or we could have like two open at all times. I think that would look quite cute too, to be honest. What do you think? Yeah. Just having like the middle two open. And then you've almost got this lovely pane of glass on each side and you've got a door open. I think it's going to be gorgeous. So that's all sorted. The only issue now is that it does take a little bit of time to get them made. How long does it take? I think it might be 
It could be up to about 12 weeks. Oof, okay. So it's going to be warm, a lot warmer by the time we get them. But I'm planning this really for next year. Wow, that stinks. Are they kippers? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Kitchen stinks of kippers. <laughs> Wonderful. I bet the dog's going to be loving this smell. He's not having any. <laughs> right, okay guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this vlog because I know how much footage I've already filmed for it. It's felt so nice getting back into vlogging again. Just to go through like all of my goals for the year and what's coming up and obviously a few little tweaks I'm making that I've been telling you. So I'll just kind of keep on with that hopefully for the next vlog too because I'm sure <laughs> stinks, babe. <laughs> that is pungent. Do you know what though? That would probably work really well in a um, oh, so now you like pate, no, like a mackerel pate, but kipper pate. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying showing you like all the little tweaks I'm making. I feel like I'm making quite a lot and I'm sure I'll be making more, so I'll show you that. Plus, I haven't actually shown you what I've got for Christmas and that's usually one of my after Christmas videos. So maybe I'll do that as well next time. Anyway. I hope you're all really well. Um, I hope that you're not putting too much pressure on yourself at the start of New Year. I know some people really hate this time because it's a lot of pressure to feel like you have to change yourself. Clearly, like I said, I find it a really great, like a massive, like kick up the arse restart for me. So I really kind of, um, I revel in this time of year. I really enjoy it. So, um, and I'm feeling really, really good, really happy. So I hope you're all really well. Sending you all so much love and I'll see you in the next one.